All those fingerprints, they matched yours perfectly. You mean the bucket I used to mix paint with last week? And what about the baseball cap? The one the thief was wearing? There's one just like it in your room. They're giving them out for free in town. Loads of kids got them. <laughs> Looks like you got the wrong man there, Detective Moon. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. I think you best be gone now, son. The Bernstein Manual says that the worst mistake a detective can make is assuming someone's guilty and then trying to make the evidence fit. That's what I had done with Red. I was a failure. The next day, I had one simple challenge. Be invisible and stare at Red Sharky's way. Ah! Go on, hit me. Get it over with. I'm not going to hit you. You want to rob me? Here, take it, it's my MP3 player. What would I want in your MP3 player? You took the other kids. That was my MP3 player. I lost it, he found it, and wouldn't give it back. Really? I'm not as bad as people think. A leopard can change his spots, can't he? Not according to the saying. You gotta help me change my spots, Half Moon. <laughs> Good luck with that. Did I say that out loud? Do you wanna argue with me? No! You breaking in last night. The, the door was open. Sorry, carry on. That was a wake-up call. Anything goes missing in this place, I'm first on everyone's list. You've got to help me clear my name. You broke into my house, Half Moon. You owe me. The real thief must have left his mark somewhere at the crime scene, and we had to find it. How did he get in? The door was locked. Maybe he had a key. They could have hidden in here when Miss Bird locked up. Stole the painting, then let themselves out. Hidden where? You could duck down behind that. What is it? Looks like a volcano. Nah, Bird would have seen you on the way out. Not if you were inside the volcano. Sneaky freaky. <laughs> Look at this. This like it's been there a while. Anything else? There are a few sketches on the inside, so my bet is we're looking for an artist after all. And how do we do that, genius? Advertise? No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. We need to join the art club. I didn't really like art. Just following the story. Didn't know you're supposed to collaborate with the suspects. What's your problem? You stole my laptop, Sharky, and I want it back. Red didn't see your laptop. You honestly believe that, Moon? He's a Sharky. He's playing you for a mug. I didn't nick your laptop. <sighs> Whatever. And I didn't take your stupid painting either. Tell me I'm seeing things. Great. Another one. Anyone else want to have a pop at Sharky? Get in line. I refuse to be in the same club as a thief. I told you, I'm not a thief. All you sharkies are good at is lowering the tone. Some of us are sick of you dragging everyone else down to your level. But we're not going to put up with it anymore. You're going down, Red. Like mother, like son. I don't deserve this, Moon. OK. I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I'm trying. I'm really trying. Everyone's always going to think the worst of me. Your family doesn't. Harry thinks you're great. Yeah. Because you used to nick sweets for him when he was little. What about Jeannie? Or your dad? He says he thinks I've changed. But he doesn't believe it. 
Mum was the only one that would ever listen to my side. Why don't you talk to her, then? I can't. She got ill. And... she died. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No one else does. I'd rather keep it that way. Bernstein says that investigators should rely on their minds, not their hearts. We need to keep our minds on the job in hand. See anything that matches the sketches in the volcano? Not yet. What about that shift looking guy? That's Dean, the victim. So? He could have stole his own painting. Why would he do that? I don't know. For insurance? Wasn't his last painting of the school as well? He's repainting it to give to his granddad. He's got a photographic memory, apparently. Told you look shifty. If he's got a photographic memory, why is he copying a photograph? You copying from a photo? What for? The one in that camera. I've told you before. I don't need photographs. I paint from memory. It would really help if we could see it. Honey, don't copy photos. All right, he was just asking to see it. What's it to you? Let's just calm down here. We're all on the same side. Fine. But tell him to stop going on about the photo. Oh, you mean this one? Th That's me. Where? There, interviewing Sandy Riles. That was when my laptop was stolen. You left it right on top of your bag. Why'd you do that? Hey, who's that guy standing next to you? I recognise that bag. I've seen it before somewhere. Where? Where? It's not how it looks. Save it for the governor. I'm just telling you. I am sick and tired of listening to your excuses. Dominic's the thief. He took Dean's painting because it showed him stealing the laptop. He was in the playground. He saw Mia's laptop and seized the opportunity to take it. However, just at that moment, Dean took a picture on his digital camera, which he later turned into a painting. Dominic had to take and destroy Dean's painting as it caught him in the act of committing the crime. See? Property of St. Jerome's. I can see the headline now. PC Moon nicks PC Thief. As for you, Mr Sharkey, you're in the clear. For now. So I'd get off Mr Johnson before he complains of assault. I'd call this an unqualified success for Operation Crackdown. What? But we caught him. Bring him to my office. I'm keeping an eye on you two. I think that's her way of saying thank you. Well, this is my way of saying sorry. Thanks. As Bernstein says, a good detective doesn't do the job for thanks. He does it for truth and justice. You're a bit weird, aren't you? So with that, Red and I decided to set up a detective agency. We'll, we'll need a name. I'm sure we'll think of something. What about Moon, private investigator? Nah. 